We're here today to demonstrate the EcoPress Formatic uh, Fluid Membrane Press for veneering uh, raised panels. The machine is equipped with a rubber membrane on the bottom platen. Behind the membrane is a reservoir of heated thermal fluid. The top platen of the machine is also heated. There's a solid, solid steel uh, drilled platen that uses uh, conventional thermal fluid to uh, circulate through it to heat it. As you can see the membrane on the bottom is has got a reservoir of fluid behind it. The machine is equipped with a self-contained hydraulic unit for activating the three uh, large diameter hydraulic cylinders that close the press. The machine is equipped with a thermal oil boiler unit. A pump circulates uh, hot oil through both the top and bottom uh, solid steel platens to uh, heat them. A pair of uh, control valves on the manifold up here uh, control individually the temperature of the top and bottom platens. In a production mode, the veneer is usually coated uh, with glue instead of a panel using a uh, glue spreading machine. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use a hand roller here to apply a PVA-based glue uh, made by National Casein to the back of the veneer. Uh, here, this is a specialty type of glue from uh, National Casein specifically for this process. This glue has uh, a unique characteristic that allows it to uh, the panels to be assembled and let's set for 15-20 uh, minutes without any problem uh, prior to going into the press. This uh, aids in keeping the uh, veneer from, from uh, curling up uh, going into the press. We're applying glue to uh, two sheets of veneer, one for each side of the panel, flat side on the back, uh, profiled on the other for a typical uh, kitchen cabinet type raised panel. Once the panels are uh, assembled with the veneer, a light mist of water is sprayed on the front face to moisten the veneer uh, to keep it from cracking in the profile area. The veneer typically has to be kept at a, a little bit higher than normal uh, moisture content of about 12 percent. Once, once it's glued and, and, uh, and the water sprayed on it is put into a stack like this and held uh, for anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes prior to going into the press. Uh, this, this allows uh, some of the moisture of the glue to flash off and the veneer to tack to the panel, uh, making it easier to handle it into the press. Panels are loaded from the front side of the press. Uh, typically you might put anywhere from uh, 
five panels, uh, maybe as many as ten in there at a time, depending on the size. There are no particular spacing requirements or balancing uh, of the panels in there. Uh, they're put randomly in the press. Panels are placed in uh, profile side down against the membrane, manually placed in there. We're going to be putting uh, six panels in there today. So two-handed control for safety. Operator holds both hands on the uh, buttons until the press is closed. Keep going. Set them out. Let me clean that table off so you can set them on there. Panels are manually unloaded after opening, and the next load can be put in immediately. These were all produced in one press load. We have six species of veneers. You see different shaped panels here with arch tops and cathedral tops. All came out perfectly. This panel is uh, maple veneer, you know, difficult ones to uh, form. Panels are straight out of the press without any sanding on them. The basement one here is in uh, teakwood. <laughs> 